Hello yogis, welcome to this prenatal yoga class. Take a seated position on your mat and let's focus on our breath first at the beginning of our practice. You can sit in a cross-legged position or maybe kneeling, placing a bolster or a pillow underneath your seat and placing your hands onto your knees, closing your eyes for a moment. Centering ourselves and arriving, becoming aware of the present. <clears throat> really connecting to our breath and start making every inhale a little bit longer and a little bit deeper and our exhales longer and deeper as well a couple more times deep inhaling exhale all the air out Inhale deeply and exhale. Now you can leave your hands onto your knees or if you wish, place them onto your belly. Drag your shoulders up to your ears on your inhale and then roll them back down your spine. One more time, big shoulder roll. Exhale, release. Chin slightly tucked towards your chest, grow your back tall. And really connecting to your baby, to your belly, and the hard work your body is doing every day. A couple more deep breaths here. Sending out gratitude to us, yourself and your body. Feeling how your belly rises on your inhale. And then exhale at the belly button. Aim towards the spine. A couple more times. Inhale, flare the belly out. Exhale. Pull it slightly back. And one last time, inhale. Exhale. Beautiful and gently opening your eyes now, looking down towards your baby. And then inhale, reach arms up. Grab hold of left wrist. And on your exhale, reach over towards the right, stretching left side body. Keep your sits bones firmly on the mat, whether you're kneeling or in a cross-legged position. Maybe looking up. And then inhales through center. And let's grab hold of other wrist and reach towards the left. Elongating the right side body. Breathing in and out. Really creating space. And then inhale through center. Exhale, easy twist over to the left. Looking up past your left shoulder. Inhale straight through center, exhale over to the other side. Inhale, come back through center and then exhale. Let's find a four point kneeling position, removing the block or your pillow. Inhale, look up arch. And then exhale, split knees open, sit back, low child's pose, reach arms forward, fingertips on the mat. Let's keep moving. 
Inhaling, coming forward. Cow, look up, right? Exhale, round your spine. Sit back, child's pose. A couple more times like so. Spinal waving, inhale, come forward. Arch, look up. And then exhale, round your spine. Sit back onto heels. Inhale forward. Exhale, one more time. Sit back. And inhaling forward. And maybe this time dropping your hips low. Kind of a modified version of upward facing dog. Keep the shoulders away from the ears, roll them back down your spine. Look up and then again, child's pose. Let's do that one more time. Inhaling, rounding forward, drop hips. Look forward. And then exhaling, child's pose. And this time let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Forehead on the mat. Grounding yourself. And then inhaling, coming forward, four point kneeling position. Now neutral spine, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And let's warm up our hip joint. Right leg up, bend it, and then nice big rolling movements with that leg. One direction. And then the other direction. And then keep that right leg up. Left knee bend slightly. Open up, extending right leg. Right arm up. Inhaling here. And then exhale, knee and elbow, touch. Inhale, reach, elongate. Exhale, elbow and knee touch. Inhaling, reach forward with the arm and backward with the toes. Exhale, knee and elbow, touch, crunch. One last time, inhale, reach, keep the leg up. And exhale, crunch. Beautiful, and then placing knee and hand down, swaying hips from side to side. And let's do the other side. Again, stable core, belly button slightly tucked in, and then big circular movements with your left leg. Make them nice and big. And then change direction. And eventually extending that left leg, opening up, left arm, left leg up. The left leg is on height of the hips. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, inhale, reach, exhale, knee, elbow, touch, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, reach forward, lengthen, and then exhale, coming back, four point kneeling position. One cat cow here, inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, round, tuck your chin towards your chest and then tuck your toes, move your hips up and finding your downward facing dog. If your hamstrings feel a little bit tight today, keep your knees bent. Connecting to your breath. Shaking out your head, looking from side to side, maybe swaying your hips. 
and then settling into your down dog. And then looking forward and tiptoeing your feet towards your hands. You can always use a block here. Inhale, placing hands onto shins. Lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. This time bending knees deeply. And then on your inhale, roll yourself up. Inhale, roll the shoulders and exhale, finding Samastiti here. Feet together, heels slightly apart. Let's move through our sun bee straight away. Moving feet back out, a little bit hips width apart. Inhale, come straight into chair pose, arms by the side of your ears. Sit nice and low, tucking tailbone, look forward. Strong legs, hold here, breathe. Inhale, and then exhale, fold over legs. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, gently step back into high plank, hold your high plank, shoulders on top of your hands, inhaling here, and then exhaling, come down, knees, chest, chin, tuck your elbows. Inhale, snaking forward, cow, press up, look up, arch, and then exhaling, come downward facing dog. One breath here. And on your next inhale, step in right foot between your hands. Drop back heel. Inhale, reach warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, frame front foot. And step back high plank. Inhaling here and then flow it out. Knees, chest, chin, look forward. Inhale, cow or upward facing dog, your choice. And exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, step left foot forward, drop back heel. Inhale, reach up, warrior one, hold. Squaring your hips towards the front of your mat. Inhale here. Exhale, frame the front foot, step back high plank, and then again knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, your choice. Inhale, upward facing dog or cow, and then come back downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold over your legs. And on your inhale, root to rise, come on up. Exhale, hands through, heart center. Let's keep moving again, chair pose. Inhale, arms reach. Inhale, exhale, fold over legs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step back, plank. Inhale here. Exhale, float it down, chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog or cow. Exhale, find downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward, warrior one. Two breaths here. Nice and low in your front foot. Check your knee. Is it on top of your ankle? And then coming into your warrior three. Hands 
front of your heart. Left leg up. Breathing here. And now taking your block as a support or a book, place it underneath your right shoulder and then opening up into half moon pose. Open the hip, open the left hip and left arm up, looking down or maybe up. Keep flexing that floating leg. And then gently, gently place the back foot down. Arms up, finding warrior two. Tucking tailbone, shoulders away from the ears. Look past your right fingertips. Inhale here. And then exhale, right elbow onto right knee, reaching left arm up and over. Finding extended side angle here. Really feel the opening of your right hip. Keep your chest opening towards the sky. Inhaling here. Exhale. Inhale brings you up, warrior two, one more breath. Before we windmill our arms down and let's float it out. Knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhale, cover upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog. Let's place our knees down for a moment. Hips stay on top of your knees. Walking hands forward, finding puppy post. Belly button stays slightly tucked in, forehead on the mat, reaching arms forward. You can grab hold of your mat as a support. Grab hold of the outsides of the mat. If you want a little bit more, move your arms closer together. If you want a little less of an intense stretch, move them a bit further away from each other. And gently come back up. And let's all meet in downward facing dog. Really reconnecting to your breath. Finding stillness. And on your next inhale, other foot forward, warrior one on the other side, left foot. Reach arms forward. Each pulse, really make your breath count. And then finding warrior three. Hands in front of your heart. Floating your right leg up. Finding a focal point right underneath you. And then again, take your block, place it underneath your left shoulder. And then opening up to half moon, right arm up, opening right hip.
looking down and ever so gently stepping back, dropping the back heel, find warrior two. Go low in your front leg, look past left fingertips. Strong legs. Inhale here, and on your exhale, left knee, left elbow onto left knee, right arm comes up. Long lines between right fingertips and right toes. Looking down on your exhale. And then come back up, warrior two, one breath. And then frame your front foot, step back high plank, hold it here for a moment. Inhale, exhale, floating down your way. Inhale, come on up. And then sit into child's pose. Knees wide open, hips on to heels, and maybe this time the arms on the side of your body. Inhale, reach arms forward again. Come on up, tuck toes, find downward facing dog. One more time. And on your next inhale, stepping feet forward, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, root to rise, come on up. Stepping to the mid of your mat. And let's finding tree pose. So rooting down through the left foot, through the little toe, big toe, and your heel, the triangle. And then you can always use your block as a support. Or place your foot either on your calf or to the inside of your left thigh. Don't, don't put your foot directly onto the knee joint. You can hold on to a chair or onto a wall and then placing hand in front of your heart. And exhale, release. Shaking out the legs for a sec. Let's go up straight onto the other side. Right foot down, and then finding your version of tree today. Really opening the leg over to the left. And don't worry if you fall or wobble, it's totally normal. Just come back in and try again. And then release. Beautiful. Keep the block handy. Step open your feet quite wide. So the right toes want to point out. And then we want to come down into a kind of a skandasana version. So placing your hands on the mat or on the block, the left toes want to point upwards and then coming down with your hips. Placing your hands in front of your heart, look up. If you can't go all the way down, using your block, your bolsters, or your hands, and just come down as much as you can and feel the opening in your hips. And 
And then inhale, help with your hands coming through center. Let's walk over to the other side, to the left foot, left toes are pointing outwards. And then gently dropping the hips, let right toes point up now. And then finding your, your version of Skandasana. Maybe you come all the way down. Try and keep the left heel down as well. If you can, place your hands in front of your heart. Great, if not, don't sweat it. For some it might look like this. Or maybe even up here. Just try and open in the hip, wherever that might be today. And then come back through center. Heel toe, the feet a little bit closer together. And then again, both toes are pointing out. And let's sit into our yogic squat. Feel free to place your support underneath your seat. Important here is that your spine is nice and long and the elbows keep pressing the knees outwards. And if you're quite far along in your pregnancy, it might help to have a block or a book or a pillow so you can keep nice and open in your hips. Maybe it feels good to add a little neck roll. And then come help with your hands and find a seated position. Beautiful. And now foot soles of the feet together, hips. This time let's actually Place the feet nice and far, far away, like a diamond shape. Inhale here, look up, lengthen. And then exhale, folding forward towards your feet. And then dropping your head. And inhale, come back up. Release the legs, bring them close together. Quick windshield wiper motion. Drop knees from left to right. And another hip opener, a seated hip opener. So take the left leg, place the left heel onto the glute. This might be quite a lot for some already and you can also drop a bolster, pillow, block underneath your seat if you've got tight hamstring or lower back problems. And just stay seated upright this. So the hips are facing forward. The right toes are facing upward. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, walking fingertips forward. Inhale, come back through center. Gently lean over to the right in order to take off your left heel. Extending left leg now. And let's do the same on the other side. So again, feel free to use any um, props underneath your seat. If, even if you've got knee issues, it might be nice to sit up high. And then inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, folding forward. And maybe you won't come as far forward. Maybe just up here is fine for you. Wherever you feel the stretch in your hips. And that's as far as you want to go.
keep the extended toe, the leg, so the left toes, you want to keep them flexed and active. And then inhaling, come back up. Lean over to the left, release the right leg. And one more time, windshield wiper motion to release any tension. Lovely. Okay, let's all find our way onto the mat with our back. Keep the legs bent, feet on the mat. Maybe taking the um, book or your block in between your knees. Keep the knees pressing together. We want to feel this pressing action. Heels close to the bum. Arms reaching towards heels. And on your inhale, the hips come up. Reach up. Shuffle shoulder blades close together. And aim to interlace hands underneath your bum. Keep hips, hips pressing up. Don't lose the block. And hold in here. Breathe. Tucking chin towards your chest. Couple more deep breaths here. Keep pressing your glutes. And then exhale, release. Let's do that one more time. But in between, let's place our hands in front of our heart. Closing your eyes. Couple of deep breaths here. And becoming aware of your heartbeat. Slowing down your heartbeat bit by bit. And then let's prepare for one more back bend. And again, keep your bolster block pressing, knees pressing. Inhale, hips up, interlace hands underneath your bum and press it all up. Keep breathing for two. One and exhale, release hips back down. Take away the block from on between your knees. Grab hold of knees, pull them in towards the outside of your ribs, and give yourself a little lower back massage. Well done. You can stay right here. If we want to come into happy baby, take your hold of outside of your feet, the pinky toe side. And keep pressing the lower back into the mat. And then release. And let's find Shavasana. Take any props that you need, feel called to do so. I like to put a pillow between my knees and lie on my side. Especially if you're in second or third trimester, you want to lie on your side. And let's relax. Let's become really heavy. Let go of any breath control. I'll wake us up after a minute or so. Feel free to stay in your Shavasana longer if you want, of course. Relaxing your facial muscles. And letting go.
Slowly start taking a deep breath into the belly. Introducing small movements of fingers and toes, ankles and wrists. Stretching out really long. And then gently push back up into a seated position. Thank you so much for practicing with me, folks. Um, lovely to have you. Please feel free to drop any comments. I'd love to get back in touch with you. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And thank you. Thank yourself for this practice and for taking the time to look after yourself. Have a lovely day. Namaste.